This is the black card. No way. Yes. You got the black one. Yep. Good morning, guys. Today I arrived to my office. I have my coffee in my hand. My name is Karl Runefeld. And if you forget my face, I have this gift here that I got from Da Vinci. Thank you, man. It's um, really cool that even if I'm not in the office, I can keep track of people. So that's amazing. Uh, but let's go forward in my office here to Laika. Hello. Hey, what's up? Everything good? Good, good. Nice. Very good. So this is the reception area, but we're going to a, uh, a cooler area, which is my master office. Because I have a special delivery today and I want to unbox it with you. This is the delivery. You didn't tell me what it's about. Yeah, this it's is... It's uh, very flat. It's very flat. It's not, it's, not a, it's not a football. It's something else. But wait a second. Before we continue with that, maybe your community wants to see the office. Um, that's true. Should we... Should, should yeah, I Maybe stop? show the office a little bit. Yeah, stop right now. I will, hide, I will hide you behind the desktop. But I really... Oh, I can see what it is. Okay. Can yeah. you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's do a one minute uh, office tour. First of all, this is my setup with my screens. Actually, I made a video when I unboxed this stuff. Link down below if you want to watch that video. And then here you can see some very cool stuff. I mean, you can see my magazines where my, um, <laughs> my face is on the, the magazine. Something um, I didn't um, expect a few years ago, but now it's there. Here's another one. Here I'm on the cover with CZ from Binance. So that's me, that's CZ. I think this was the first uh, magazine cover I did actually. Uh, that was actually some... And this is your rose gold uh, Rolex, right? Yeah, that's my first watch I ever bought. And which watch are you wearing today? Today I'm wearing this watch. Of course. My Patek Philippe. That's beautiful. Actually, it's funny. This watch goes up and down in value just like Bitcoin. If you know the price of this watch right now, let me know in the comments because I have no clue. I know what I paid for it but I don't know the current value. So I paid $137,000. I think it's worth more now, but I'm not too sure. So you guys tell me. Um, what I'm very proud of, obviously, is this. It's a uh, YouTube play button for breaking 100,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. Guys, leave a thumbs up right now and subscribe to this channel right now. Um, I love you guys. You are the best thing that ever happened to me. And don't forget to press the notification bell because then you will see my next video before everyone else. And this is my second play button for my YouTube channel called The Moon. The link will be down below. So if you want to know how I make money in crypto, follow that channel. This is actually cool because this is an award for... Um, so I got this for being uh, the best... Blockchain, crypto ent blockchain crypt entrepreneur, right? Yeah, something like this. So the best crypto entrepreneur in the Middle East region, according to uh, Gulf News, I think and it was. Why is that a gorilla? Because this gorilla is here. Um, when I have meetings here, this gorilla um, takes care of my interests and makes <laughs> sure that no one scams me or take it, takes advantage of me or uh, tries to uh, to fool me. So. This is like a lie detector. When I have meetings here, people usually sit here, and then I sit here, which is like a little bit higher up. And um, I make sure that they know that they had to convince me. He's actually not doing that. I do. do you're, no, you, usually you are sitting here, so people, we, uh, so you guests have the opportunity to sit here I hear and it. enjoy the nice view yeah, on Dubai. Yes, always sits here so they can see the view, that's for sure. Exactly. But if I have four guests, then obviously I do sit there. Yeah. But it, it depends actually. So if there is a guest that I want to convince, then I make sure that um, I, I, I sit either up there, elevated, or I sit next to them so that they feel like we are playing together. We're on the same side. You don't want to, yeah, yeah, you don't want to sit uh, in front of them because that's a more like aggressive um, kind of um, dynamic. So you want to sit on the same side, make them feel like we're, we're playing together. We're I, on the same side. I didn't know that you put so much thought into it, actually. Psychology, <laughs> man. Actually, I'm not going to tell you all of my secrets because then people will just copy that. But, uh, but, but there are circumstances when you do want to sit uh, in front of someone. If you want to be like really like, you know, 
if you want to show aggression and you want to show that, look, this is what's happening. And also, another thing, if you want to be uh, negotiating with power, you shouldn't sit like this. Because now it feels like you're like the one trying to convince the other one. You want to sit back, relaxed, and feel free to take as much room as possible. Sit like this, even, like, you can do this even, like, why not? Show that you're the boss and that you are confident and comfortable and that you have complete control of the situation. You don't want to lean, because if you sit like this, it's like you're trying to get the attention of this guy, right? But like this, it's like, you know what? You tell me why I should uh, hire you, or you tell me why I should invest five million into your business. Like, you tell me. That's small tips. If you want to know more about these things, maybe you can leave a comment down below. This was actually not planned, but I think it's valuable advice. We are exceeding one minute dramatically, bro. Okay, more than a minute. One yeah. sip of coffee. So why don't you show us what's inside? Okay, let's unbox. I think based on the title, people know already what it is, but... Uh, but I don't know yet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's true. Okay, let's do a fill reaction. You know what this Centurion. is? Centurion. So Centurion is an American Express um, exclusive card that you cannot buy, you cannot apply for it. Wait, did you reach the next level? This is the Centurion Amex card, which on the streets is known as the black card. No way. Yes. You got the black one. Yep. That's insane. Yeah, this is uh, the most exclusive card that you can, you can have, you know? Wow. Shit. Look at that. Okay, I, I guess I need to blur a bunch of stuff. On. Actually, no. I, uh, yeah, maybe this you should blur. But I mean, it's just my name, Carl Brunefeld. A uh, member since 22 because um, I'm a member in UAE since 22. I've been a member in Sweden for a few years, but yeah. So now a new membership here in, uh, in the UAE, basically. And um, getting the black card here is actually much harder than getting it in uh, Sweden. It is hard to get it, but you should have like uh, fulfilled all the requirements two or three years ago, right? Yeah, I, yeah exactly. I could have had this um, multiple years ago based on my spending, but... The problem with banks and cards in general is that they want you to prove your wealth with fiat, which means normal money in the bank. And as you guys know, I don't keep any money in the bank. So banks think you're poor, actually. On paper, I'm poor, yeah. <laughs> On paper, I don't have much money at all. So, so how did you manage to get that? Um, so basically, I'm the first person in the whole world from crypto who got this card by proving wealth through crypto. So I literally sent them some of my crypto wallets and some print screens of some, um, some exchanges. For six, seven months, they said, no, it's not possible, not possible. Uh, you need to have money in the bank account. And I just said, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to put money in there just because of you. I thought like, who's this poor guy applying for a black card? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought my Bugatti would be enough to like just uh, put my Bugatti as, uh, yeah. as proof, but apparently it doesn't work like that. So yeah, I'm very happy about that. So here they say, Centurion is more than a card, it's a way of life. Designed for distinguished members like you. Those who break ground and impact the world in meaningful ways. The Centurion card itself celebrates the art of living through one of life's truest luxuries, the luxury of choice. We are excited to present you your new card, which reflects your very own design preferences and tastes. We hope your card will bring a bit of extra joy to the everyday Centurion style. That's cool. And actually, I also ordered another black card with some, some uh, features on it. I don't know why I didn't... Maybe. Features? You know what? What kind of features? Maybe it's here. Let me check. Well, rather... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is cool. Oh. Um, wait, what is all this like stuff? Like the Prada edition or what? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna show you. Yeah, there, there's a Prada thing here. Yeah, guys, keep watching because this gets crazier. You have to spend a lot of money to to get this card, but also that's that's not it. Like it's also you have to um, be a person, an ab ambassador. Like they they need to choose you because they want customers to um, represent the brand. So people that travel a lot spend a lot of money on like restaurants and stuff like that. So I mean that's you, right? Exactly. So spending a lot on fashion travels. Yeah. But what what are the requirements actually? 
Uh, I don't know the exact requirements. requirements, but I think you have to spend um, like I, I actually don't know, but I think it's at least I actually don't know. This is from Prada, and this is actually very cool. I actually already know what it is because I specifically ordered mm -hmm. this. This is a Prada American Express Centurion like collaboration. You can see Centurion inside. And the cool thing about this, when you go to a bar and you want to pay, you can literally just put this on the card reader like this. No way. Yeah. Without the card. Yeah. Like, like <clears throat> Apple Pay. So, yeah, exactly. Obviously, you can use your card to beep, but look, you can just take this and beep. Right. Like that. There's a chip inside here. It's built in here? Somewhere here, yeah. This is like, my card is in here. And it's nice. It's very subtle. It's black. It's not too Yeah, it looks much. cool, you know? You can... Yeah, because sometimes you don't want people to know that you have um, a black card, maybe. Sometimes you just want to just beep and go. And that's, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, this screams <clears throat> like money. <laughs> yeah, this is like, you know, somehow everyone knows that if you have a black card, you're, you're, you're pulling in some, some money. That's true. So this is a more subtle way. And it's actually still a pretty cool flex to just like beep and then go. That's nice. What do you think? But, I, nice. but I would never put a microchip inside my wrist. Some people, they would think that the next step is to put the microchip here and like stuff, and I would never do this. Microchips um, sounds like an enslavement of the human race, and this is something I do not. You don't want to be a slave to American Express? I don't want to be a slave to anyone, whether it's the government, American Express, or banks, you know. I don't trust the government so much, to be honest. So, yeah, basically, that is the American Express Centurion card. I would say let's put it into practice a little bit. Yeah, I agree. So, I'm in my office now. Um, I have a few meetings that I have to take care of before we go have fun. But later today, me and Phil will take this card and we're going to go shopping. I love to go shopping, as you guys know. I mean, I love to, to buy these, like, beautiful um, things. So, if you want to see the shopping vlog that we're going to record today, subscribe to my YouTube channel right now and press the notification bell so you can get this shopping vlog immediately when I upload it very, very soon. And if you think that this black card is absolutely beautiful, leave a thumbs up. Now, I'm going to take this card and I'm going to put it inside my wallet. This is the first wallet you ever had, right? Uh, well, it's my first nice wallet. Yeah, look at that. That looks cool, right? This is my Louboutin wallet. It is actually a funny story. So this wallet I bought like four or five years ago when I was working in a grocery store. The retail price is 350 euros. I bought it for 220 euros secondhand in very good condition. And I bought it because I thought, you know, if I was rich, I would have a beautiful wallet. And when I put my cards inside a beautiful wallet, it represents me having a lot of money. So I bought a nice wallet and funnily enough, I also have these on me right now, which was not planned, but these were my first Christian Louboutin shoes I ever bought. You know that, you can see that they look a little bit uh, used now, right? They look it's very exactly used. Exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I bought both of these because they match. You can see red, red, black, black. Sick. It's pretty cool, right? Uh, but. I was working in a grocery store and these I bought for 300 and like 300 euros retail is 1200 euros so I, I got them for quite cheap but it was a lot of money for me back then because I was working in a grocery store but I bought these two items to visualize uh, my dream life and my dream life was essentially what I'm living today I, I take a card and just go and like buy stuff all the time without thinking about it because I have so much uh, money. That was my dream life and, and I visualized it and now I actually attracted that dream life. So it's funny, this was like a good investment. So basically, the most important thing when it comes to the law of attraction is to feel like you are the person you wanna become. So if you wanna become super wealthy, then you have to feel like you're wealthy. You have to feel abundance. You have to imagine abundance. So that's what I did. I bought these items and every single time I put on my shoes, I imagined and pretended that I was super rich and wealthy and successful. 
and that I loved my life. And this energy helped me to attract that very reality. And every single time I pulled out my card out of this wallet, I imagined that my card was a bottomless, endless uh, pit of money that could never stop, you know. Um, even though I had like no money at all. <laughs> Guys, if you feel inspired by my YouTube channel, please keep watching these videos, subscribe and go to my channel now and watch all of my other videos. I can see that you guys are binge watching these videos. I can see your comments and uh, I can see the views are just skyrocketing. Thank you guys. I have, I think, probably 60 videos on my channel, so go and watch them. They're full of mindset tips for you guys. Cool thing is that five years ago, like I said, I was working in Sweden as a cashier. Today, I'm in Dubai with 150 employees and counting. My life is very different. Your life can change dramatically in the next three years as well. I am rooting for you. I love you and you are important for me. So thank you for being part of this channel. Now, if you want to watch this video, then take one of your fingers, like this one, and click it right now. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye-bye.